Welcome to the third section of the course Building an Application with AngularJS. In this video of the course, we are going to familiarize ourselves with the Angular form. In this section, we will learn how to use a form to edit data and use static and dynamic templates defined inline or externally to display data. We will also introduce Angular filters to filter and sort the raw data retrieved from the backend for display. Lastly, we will look at how to define client-side routing for our vocabulary teacher application. Every business application offers some kind of data entry to the user. In a web application, we use a form to handle this job. Angular augments the features of the HTML5 form and provides more power and fine-grained control to the developer. We surround each distinct data entry area with a form tag. To turn off standard HTML5 form validation, we add the attribute no validate to the form tag. To work with the form in a controller, we need to give it a name. In our vocabulary teacher application, we have a form called translate form. Now we can add standard HTML5 input controls like a text input for our word to translate, as well as a button to trigger translation of the word. To be able to work with the input control in the controller, we need to give it the name too. In this case, we call it just source. Whenever we define a named form in the area managed by an Angular controller, we can access this form on the scope of the controller by its name. In our case, this would be $scope.translate form. Angular provides the four values $30, $ pristine, $ valid, and $ invalid on each form to indicate whether a form is dirty or not, and whether the form is in a valid or invalid state. We can use expressions to display the content of those values on the view. User input can be restricted and validated by using various types of input tags like text, number, date, checkbox, password, etc., and by using standard HTML5 attributes on the input controls like required, min length, max length, pattern, etc. If we have multiple input controls on a form, we can also use the same four values dirty, pristine, valid and invalid on each input control. In our case, this would be $scope.translateform.source.$dirty to find out whether the source field is dirty or not. Angular augments the capabilities of the HTML5 form. It gives us more fine-grained control. Forms need to be named that we can access them in the controller or on the view via expressions. The name of the form becomes a property on the dollar scope. The individual input controls should also be named and then become properties on the form. Angular defines the four values $dirty, $pristine, $valid and $invalid for the form as a whole and also for each individual control. In the next video, we are going to work with static template. 